Developing news now to a story that Western Mass News has been following from the beginning. The East Longmeadow Planning Board has rescinded the special permit of pampered pets, doggy daycare and spa. The vote comes after a dog was mauled and later died. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane live with more on that. Lindsay. Chris and Jordan, that meeting lasted around two hours. There was emotional testimony on both sides, but ultimately the planning board decided to rescind the permit. Ollie brought levity and joy and pure sweetness to every day he was in our lives. On Tuesday, the East Longmeadow Planning Board heard testimony lasting around two hours, both in favor and against rescinding the special permit of Pampered Pets Doggy Daycare and Spa. This is an incredibly unfortunate event. And there's a dog who passed away and Obviously, that is extremely emotional. Miss Deegan took, you know, the time and the effort and the desire to get into um, a doggy daycare and, and an animal daycare because she loves animals. The meeting comes months after a seventh month old Labradoodle puppy named Ollie was mauled while in the care of the daycare and later died from his injuries. No one likes to have this conversation and everyone is upset by it for sure. But at the end of the day, there's a responsibility and a liability issue that needs to be considered seriously. The planning board expressed concern over the supervision at the daycare, which owner Denise Degon said was not the case. I actually have more than enough staff because I wanted to be extra cautious and make sure we had more than enough coverage. But Amy Baxter, Ollie's owner, says her family's puppy would still be here today if rules were followed and protocols were in place. Because the kennel's owner operates and manages her business in a manner that is unsafe and shows total disregard for the safety of the animals in her care. Ultimately, the planning board found violations in the business's special permit and voted to take it away. I make a motion to rescind the special permit that was given to uh, Mrs. Degon to operate her pet care facility or her doggy daycare facility. At this point, it's still unclear if the business can operate in any capacity or not. We reached out to the town manager but are still waiting to hear back. Live for Western Mass News, I'm Lindsay Kane.